build yourself up from the ground up and like the only way you can do that is by looking at yourself and asking yourself what else can I do? Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel, okay? In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys through my push day workout, but it's shoulder focused. So, as well as be answering some questions for you guys, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I put up on my story to ask you guys if you guys have any questions and looks like you guys got a ton. So, I'm going to be going through all these, well, hopefully I'm going to be going through all these because there is a lot, but... Other than that, there's a difference between my hair, if you guys can guess it. Yeah, I cut my hair. There's really nothing to guess. But let's get right into it. Almost, I almost forgot to grab my pre-workout, but I had another one in the car. You guys know the deal, you know what time it is. You know exactly what time it is. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just got to the gym, I hopped on the treadmill real quick doing a 5 minute walk just to get the blood flow in my legs, in my body, just to warm up, get, get loose, you know. I normally do 15 minutes before and after my workouts, but today and yesterday I've been doing morning fasted 30 minute walks. So I'm just going to do a quick little 5 minute walk to warm up. I'm just going at a speed of 2, nothing crazy, so I'm going to be doing that and then to start off my workout, I'm going to start with some cable lateral raises. I'm going to pre-exhaust my shoulders and then my first working exercise sets is going to be the overhead military press standing. And I'm going to do four sets of an 8 to 10 rep range of a moderate weight. So when I'm doing the pre-exhaustion method, I'll be doing three sets of 10 reps of each uh, arm for the lateral raises for the cable lateral raises. So I'm gonna do three sets of ten reps for each arm for the cable lateral raises. I don't wanna fight anymore. Just turn around and leave me. That tear in my eye drops on. The floor alongside my speed. So I just finished off with my military overhead press and now I'm going to go into some chest work. I'm going to do two exercises for chest. Um, I'm going to do the flat bench and then I'm going to do the incline dumbbell press. But to start off, I started off my own strength programming, but I can't give you much details on that because I'm going to be creating my own website and have programs for you guys. So I'm testing out this strength program to see if it works. I'm going to do an eight week strength program and I'm going to start off with the flat bench. I'm going to just do a quick three by three and then move forward into the incline dumbbell press. And then I'm gonna go back into some shoulder workouts. I have waited for you to come and drown all my sin. Alright, guys.
guys, so I just finished up with the chest movements. I did the flat bench and the incline dumbbell press. With the incline dumbbell press, I did four sets. But the first set, I did 12 reps, and the following three sets, I did eight reps, and I increased the weight. Now, moving forward, I'm going to do some lateral machine raises and superset with some dumbbell lateral raises as well. Then moving forward after that, I'm going to do some seated dumbbell presses to finish off the shoulders. And I'm going to go back to chest and do cable flies and then wrap up my workout by finishing up with some triceps. Alright guys, so we just finished up with the shoulders and the chest as well. Now I'm going into some tricep action. This is the last exercise movement and last muscle group movement for my push day. I'm going to start off with the uh, rope cable extensions and superset with the rope skull crushers as well. I'm just calling to say I... So I just finished up the workout, guys. Overall, what a freaking sick workout that was, man. If you guys have gotten this far into the video, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and comment down below. But other than that, what I forgot to mention was when I was doing the dumbbell press and the flies, the working sets, and what I did. So with the dumbbell press, I did four sets of 10 reps, and with the flies, I did four sets of 12 reps. So those were the working sets for that. And when it comes to the triceps, I did five sets of the superset. I did the rope cable extensions or the push downs, whatever you want to call them, for 12 reps. And then I did the skull crushers for 10 reps. So I was supersetting them for five sets. Very brutal burnout for the triceps. Um, I'm going to head back home now and we're going to start this Q&A. <sighs> Alrighty, so I got home last night. I ate and then I knocked out some notes. Now it is currently 9.30 in the morning, uh, next day. So, let's get right into these questions. <laughs> uh, if you guys see the bags under my eyes, don't worry about it, all right? I just woke up, so I wanna just whew, drink coffee. God damn it, I need to wake up now. I gotta wake up now. All right, so let's get through some of these questions. I have a lot, so there's a lot to talk about. Should we train abs while bulking? So my opinion when you come to training abs, I think you should incorporate it in your routine, whether you're bulking or cutting. Because the thing about abs is you need it for every core movement that you're working on. So what I recommend is to do like a light body weight ab routine every couple of days. Like what I do is I do a burnout every two or three days. So in my opinion, I do recommend you guys do train abs every couple of days. Can we take creatine and coffee both for pre-workout? So creatine, um, I don't really consider creatine something you, sh you would take as a pre-workout. I consider creatine more so you can take something as any time of the day. So if you want to 
take it as a pre-workout you could take it as a pre-workout for sure so when you mix it with coffee as well it, it doesn't matter you can take creatine with anything uh, i prefer to take it either in the morning or at night but you can take it as a pre-workout or a post-workout as well third question what's your ultimate cheat meal yo my ultimate cheat meal honestly i love burgers man i like i a good, a good juicy burger, definitely with fries and a milkshake. Oh, forget about it, forget about it, man. Take me to freaking Shake Shack Smash Burger. That's a cheat meal. That's that's probably the ultimate cheat meal for me. Is a burger, fries, and milkshake. It's very, very common, but it tastes so good, man. All right. So fourth question: When should the protein shakes be consumed? Uh, protein shakes, I look at protein shakes as something that you can use as like a meal replacement. I prefer to get my protein from Whole Foods and let's say one day I get lazy and I don't have enough cooked food throughout the day, then I would make a protein shake. Or let's say I'm just lazy in general and I don't want to cook, so then I'll make a protein shake as well. But preferably you can have protein shakes throughout the day if you would like. But my recommendation is try to get your protein from Whole Foods and if you can't, then take your protein shakes of course. So fifth question, which time do you prefer for workout? So when I work out, I genuinely prefer to work out like midday. I'm not a morning person. I wouldn't say I'm a morning person. I wouldn't enjoy to work out in the morning. So I like working out midday because I like to look forward to it. You know, I wake up and I'm like looking forward to working out, but I want to get my meals in. So I try to get at least two meals in before I start my workouts to have the energy to boost me through my workout. Let's go into the sixth question. Uh, someone asked me vein secret. Uh, I guess my vascularity, um, you guys can see it a lot, but there is really no secret to veins. I mean, if you really want your veins to show, you would need to go on a caloric deficit because you need a lower body fat percentage. Once you reach your lower body fat percentage and you have enough, enough muscle mass, then your veins will pop because the muscles will push those blood vessels out and you'll see them more. But um, there really isn't no vein secret, man. It's all about genetics, the way your veins are all like shaped and stuff. Some people have like different types of veins coming out, you know. Mine, you can see it on my shoulders mainly and my arms. So yeah, man, just get to a lower body fat percentage and you have enough muscle mass and you'll see your veins more often. Next question. This is the seventh question, I believe. What is the secret to a large chest? You would want to work more on your upper chest. Um, if you the more you work on your upper chest, it'll give you that illusion because you're gonna grow that upper chest out. Um, but I also recommend doing flat bench and cable flies because when you're heavy benching and you're doing a wide grip bench, you're stretching all the way down. You're allowing the entire chest to break. All right, and once that breaks and recovers, it will grow and it will become bigger. Now. When you do cable flies, it also allows the whole entire um, chest to stretch. So that's another one. Incline movements, flat movements, and cable movements are the three best ways to grow a larger chest and wider chest. My chest, like it's not, I wouldn't say it's big, but it is, it is wide uh, when it comes to my chest. I really like this question. This is the next question. How do you keep yourself going when things get tough, both in, bo both in training and in life? That is a very, very great question now. Dude, life gets hard, man. Life gets hard. Um, it's very, very hard, actually. For those of you who do not know me, I had lost my father in 2018. So life was hard. And um, the gym actually is what like, kind of saved me. So like, what I would do is like, I would try, every time I would go to the gym, I wouldn't say the gym was my escape sometimes, but the gym did help with my stress and it did help me cope with a lot of like personal issues. So the way I keep myself going um, when life does get rough, both in and out of training, is I would just really look into myself. You know, I would look into myself, I'd ask myself like, where are we going with this? You know, like what's next? Cause it truly what's next? You, you don't know what's next in life. A lot of things happen, a lot of things change. So you have to you have to be realistic with yourself, and you have to continually just push yourself. So anytime I, I'm down in life, or anytime I'm down in training, and I don't have the motivation for anything, I look into myself. I, I deeply look into myself, and I say, "What's next? What's more that I can do?" You know. And the more I think about it, the more I push myself. 
you have to always, you know, dig deep and truly, you know, build yourself up from the ground up. And like the only way you can do that is by looking at yourself and asking yourself, what else can I do? So that is the best way that I, um, you know, keep up with myself when it comes to things getting tough in life and in training as well. Someone asked me what my, my current split is. So this next question, what is my current split? Um, I thought it was pretty noticeable. I'm doing a push pull leg split, but it's a little different. Um, I, I, I have like a chest focus push, shoulder focus push. And then when it comes to the back, I do more rear delt focused and then more actual back focused. And then with legs, it's just legs. So this next question is asking, is there any workout plan to correct unevenness in body shape, especially in shoulder, chest and biceps? So when it comes to unevenness of a body part, let's say, let's say you have a chest a little bigger than the other chest, you would need to do unilateral exercises. What is un unilateral? Uh, what is unilateral exercises? Um, it's when you um, do one side at a time. Meaning, let's say we're gonna do dumbbell presses. It's kind of it throws you off a bit, but grab one dumbbell man and just press it with the right side. Do 10 reps with it. Now grab that same dumbbell, press it with the other side, 10 reps with it. That is the best way to correct unevenness. If you have any body part that is not keeping up with the other body part, I would say to do unilateral training methods. All right, so this is a general question. I'm gonna answer some general questions right now. Someone asked me, how many years have I been lifting? All right, so I've been lifting for almost four and a half to five years, okay? Now, I am 5'10". That's my height, 5'10". You guys ask me this all the time in my comments, my DMs. I am 5'10", 5 foot 10 inches. So that is my height uh, in centimeters. I believe that is 178 centimeters. My weight currently, I weigh 174 pounds morning weight. And then my nighttime weight would be 176. So that is my current weight. Weight gaining tips for teenagers who want to get big. So for those of you that are trying to get big and are just lifting, uh, there's something called newbie gains. So newbie gains, everyone gets newbie gains. And you can pack on muscle much faster, much quicker in the first year of lifting if you have never lifted before. And then as time goes on, it'll become harder. But if you are just starting off when training and you're training very well, meaning like you're going five to six days a week, you're, you know, you're training good, you, you have a good routine and you're eating well, you will gain a lot of muscle in that year because of the newbie gains. Now, the question is asking weight gaining tips. So my recommendation when you're trying to gain, especially when you're a teenager, is to first calculate what your average calories would be, okay? You can go on a website, you can search up how to calculate your average calories. And then once you calculate your average calories, I would say increase your calories by 300. All right, just a week. All right, in increase your, your daily calories of to, to, to 300. If it's too much, maybe 200. Track your protein, I recommend tracking your protein. And the way you track your protein is a gram of protein per pound of body weight. You should eat daily. So what does that mean? If you weigh, if you're, per, if you're someone who weighs 150 pounds, you should eat 150 grams of protein. So make sure you're tracking your, your calorie, and make sure it's mainly tracking your protein as well. So next question: How do you feel knowing that you motivate people from another country, dude? I feel awesome. You know, you know how amazing it is every time I, I go to my DMs, and I see all these um, inspiring like, you guys, like I inspire you guys, and it's just mind blowing because I'm just a person. You know, I'm really just a person. I'm just like you. It's just like mind blowing to me because it's surreal. You know, it's not, it's, I wouldn't look at myself in any other way. I just look at myself as someone like you. So thank you, thank you guys, thank you guys. And if you guys have gotten this far into the video, uh, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like and comment guys. But definitely love, love, you know, motivating and inspiring you guys. This is a, all right, so this next question is a very general question. What is your best dumbbell workouts and how to build muscle ASAP? Best dumbbell workouts, dude, there's all types. You can do all, you can do all your workouts with dumbbells. So I, there is so many workouts that you can do, but like 
depending on your depending on what you're trying to exercise like when it comes to your chest i would say the best dumbbell movements would be incline dumbbell presses when it comes to doing the back i would say heavy um single arm back rows bent over back rows when it comes to shoulders definitely shoulder, just regular shoulder presses with the dumbbells um also lateral raises and how to build muscle asap uh, if you're a beginner that's the only way you can technically build muscle as soon as possible because you you get the newbie gains but there is no secret to building muscle fast actually you can't technically build muscle as quick as you think you can you know it takes time you have to be patient with it you have to be consistent with it you have to be dedicated to go through the process all right you have to just commit yourself because it takes quite a long time especially after you've gotten your newbie gains all right so don't think of oh how do i build muscle fast think of i'm gonna build muscle that's it don't think about you know the end of it all right next question um i'm a girl and i want to grow my glutes what is the best exercise for it so for late for those ladies ladies out there so glute exercises um there is plenty of different glute exercises you know i'm I, being a male and what i'm going to say is squats but squats are not the only um end all be all glute exercise that will improve in you know your glutes there is adductors i don't know if you guys know what adductors are it's the machine that i can't even explain it but you open up your legs like this it's seated it really works on those glutes lunges dude lunges are brutal and my glutes do get very sore after doing um, lunges for my leg routine. So I would say lunges, squats, adductors. I'm trying to think for one more. I'll give you guys one more. And uh, kickbacks. You know, if you if you find a cable machine and you do uh, leg kickbacks, oh, um, I think I believe that's what it's called. That will definitely get your glutes up as well. <laughs> Long hair tips. You guys are all asking me about my hair, so I actually cut my hair. Um, if you guys don't realize but so my hair tips for you guys if you want to grow your hair out just let it grow that's the best tip I can give you like it took me a year uh, before cutting my hair to actually grow out my hair and there is those awkward stages but when you get to those awkward stages in your hair you need to just let it be you need to just let it grow and as you're growing your hair what I recommend every like five to six months is just like an inch trim just so you don't get split ends and you keep your hair healthy so that is my best hair tip that i can give you guys other than that like i said in my previous youtube video if you guys haven't seen it make sure to go watch it is i only use shampoo and conditioner i don't really put products into my hair just shampoo and conditioner and that's it next question how do you stay consistent i have issues with waking up really early to go to the gym dude how do i stay consistent <sighs> Everyone can stay consistent once they put something in their mind. You know, if you want something, if you want to chase a goal, if you want to chase a dream, if you want to change the way you look, if you want to get better and do better and be better, then you you don't even, it's not even about being consistent. It's about just being dedicated, man. It's not a choice for me. Okay. I will be consistent. I am going to be consistent. I am dedicated for what I'm doing and I'm going to do it. Put it that way. If you think like that, if you say I can, then you will. If you say I, 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 I'll try, then you won't. So it's I can, so you will, or there's no other way. But if you put a meaning to it, it can even be the smallest meaning possible. If you say, I'm gonna start weight training, I'm gonna start lifting because I want to bench more than my brother, that can even be something that will make you go consistent in the gym, man. I kid you not like if you if you tell yourself that and you have an older brother for those of you that have older brothers I don't have an older brother, but I'm just making an example out of it Like if you say oh, I want to bench 315 before my brother and you make it like a friendly competition I kid you not you will be consistent in the gym. You know why because you have that goal down It's a very small goal, but you have it down in your mind saying I will accomplish this and so if you keep it going You actually will all right next question when and how you when and how did you start your journey? I'm a newbie in the gym, so I would like to know your initial train. Okay, so when I started in the gym, if you guys don't know, before I actually started, I used to play soccer. So soccer was kind of, kind of like what got me into training. And the way I got into training is my team, um, my high school team, we would go, you know, strength train. We would go into the weight room in my high school 
and I kind of like that's where I kind of started lifting I was 17 and I was enjoying you know training and I was like oh like I'm getting better at deadlifting like I kid you not I was getting better at deadlifting and I was like wow I can deadlift and then um there was like these high school stats and like it was like oh if you weigh this much this is how much you should be deadlifting and if you weigh this much you should, this is how much you should be benching and I was trying to hit those goals so I didn't even realize as I was trying to hit those goals I fell in love with trying to you know hit goals so I so once I started doing that when high school finished I you know went to the gym more often i was 18 now and i was like you know what i'm gonna do this every day and then i started training every day for like two years straight like i trained literally almost every day for two years straight unless i was sick or like i i had like something that i truly couldn't go to the gym for but i was literally training every day and it, i don't recommend training every day but when you have a passion for something and you're starting to love it and you're and you like really want to do it so much you can't stop yourself from not doing it so, but then once you actually learn the knowledge of lifting and how to gain muscle better, I do recommend taking rest days. But like I said, like when I started training, I was at the gym every day, every damn day. So that's that's how I began my journey. You know, I went from playing soccer and then my team, we went into the um, training room in our school and I started just lifting there and I fell in love with it. All right. So. This is the last thing I will be answering. It's not generally a question, but it's more so something that this guy wants. He said, motivation for beginners. So, for those of you who are just starting at the gym, man, you gotta think as the gym as a hobby. You can't think of it as something that's mandatory. You gotta think of something that it's fun you're doing. Because if you think it as something that's fun, then you're gonna enjoy doing it. If you're gonna think of something that, oh, I need to hit this, I need to do this, I need to do this, then you won't really enjoy what you're doing. First, you wanna grow a passion for it. You wanna grow that love for the sport, because it's a sport. You wanna grow that love for it. And the only way you can do that is by having fun with it. You know, go to the gym with your friends. Enjoy lifting with your friends. Enjoy, um, you know, try to hit new PRs. Enjoy figuring out different types of splits to work out. Enjoy all the little things that come with lifting and then once you are focused and you're passionate about it then you need to be dedicated all right it's not more so the motivation it's more so the dedication all right but when it comes to motivation what you want to do is think about how can i better myself all right how can i do better in that specific thing how can i do better in this okay and think of the gym as the outlet to bettering yourself overall and think of your why why am I doing it? You know, when you figure that out, you will be motivated. And also, if you do lose motivation, remember that it's not always about the motivation, but it's also about the dedication, being consistent, and also just work ethic, man. You want to be the best worker in the room. You're doing it for yourself. It's not something you're doing for someone else. It's your body. It's your choice. It's what you want to make of it. You know, if you want to be you know, sluggish and fat, by all means, be sluggish and fat. But if you want to be fit, if you want to look good for yourself, if you want to do all these things, then make sure you do it, all right? Because there's no one else that's going to do it for you, all right? I can, I will. And go after it. Just I can and I will. And that's it. You, you got it. 100% you got it, guys. But if you guys have gotten this far into the video, man, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe again. Like I said, comment, subscribe, comment, subscribe, like. Love this video. I love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I'm out. Peace. See you guys in the next one. I'm just calling to say I...